Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland with a layout for Simple Stories using the Howdy collection. And this is my second layout that I've made uh, with this collection. Um, it's really great fun, I love it. I have a little boy who loves Toy Story. Um, so these are some of the photos that um, I have of him wearing his Woody costume. Um, so super cute, really, really cute. Okay, so I love the stars. They're kind of, they're not stars, they're sheriff badges. Um, and I think they are so awesome. So. Um, I wanted to use that paper, but of course using it as a full sheet um, would have been a little tricky. Um, because it's a multicolored print on a uh, cream background, if it had been uh, a solid, um, you know, if it had been on a solid colored background, that may have worked. Um, but as a background, these ones that, that are on a white or a cream background with multicolored icons on, they are always challenging to use as a background. I would need to white out an area for that to work. Um, so instead, I decided to make a feature of it and to really contrast it with the denim paper in that collection. I love the denim, it's brilliant. It matches my son's trousers perfectly. Um, so um, I love this color scheme. So the the multicolored stars, um, the red um, and the denim, just what a combination, that's just so perfect. Um, so, um, yeah, um, I, if you watched my previous um, video, you'll know that I really tried my hardest to use this word yeehaw. It's because my little boy who's two um, doesn't talk that well yet and uh, he can't say cowboy, but whenever there are cowboys around, he says yeehaw. <laughs> um, so um, I really, really wanted to get this title uh, used and as the title of my layout, but um, it's uh, it's on a map print background rather than a white background and it just um, doesn't stand out that well. The word howdy that I'm bringing in now from the foam stickers works much better because it's on white or plain. It's because it's plain, not, not because it's a, um, not because of the colour necessarily, but because um, there's no print, whereas the yeehaw is on a map print background, which just, it just lose the letters get lost a little bit. Um, so it didn't stand out as well as I'd hoped. So in the end, I decided to not use yeehaw and go for howdy instead. I'll have to teach him how to say howdy. Um, so, um, okay, so I have torn a large layer of um, the stars paper to go at the top of my denim print um, <clears throat> paper. The reverse of the stars paper was that beautiful red. So I tore a strip of that as well um, and I've layered that behind um, the uh, stars paper. Um, so I have a small amount of red poking out from underneath and then I'm layering the two of them on top of the denim paper. So, and that's a nice plain color. Even though it's dark, um, it's plain. So therefore it's easier to um, put layer photos and embellishments onto because of course they don't get lost in the, um, in the busyness of a pattern. Um, so um, there's my three photos. Um, I actually end up only using two in the end, um, but they're all the same thing. They're just him in different, slightly different positions. You know, you know when you have a two-year-old, you have to take about 50 photos uh, to get a few good ones. So um, I always have a surplus of photos when I'm doing something like this. Um, but uh, I didn't, didn't need all of them for sure because they are literally the same thing. Um, so, okay, so I'm just going through and trying to figure out if there's anything um, in the papers that I can use that will work for this layout. I'm currently thinking whether I should have a stack behind my photos or whether they work as they are. Um, the reason I want a stack behind it is to give some separation between my photos and the busy star background, um, the multicolored stars. Um, so I've put out that wood grain journaling card um, and thinking that, that might work. In my photos, I have... Um, a wood grain background. It's actually um, just the fence. Uh, actually, I think it's a gate. Um, but um, the panels on the wood grain are going down, uh, whereas the panels on the wood grain on the journaling card behind the photos are horizontal. Um, so that was bothering me. Um, it just didn't quite look right. So, um, and I couldn't turn the journaling card around the other way because it wouldn't have been wide enough. Um, so in the end, I decided to not use that journaling card um, purely for that reason, the horizontal vertical issue. Um, I really love um, this uh, tag, um, the wood grain tag, um, but it just wasn't working because I got my three photos I've, um, and I didn't have enough space down the bottom to have it in its uh, entirety. I would have had to have cut it down and then I would have lost the phrase. Um, so, um, I decided to leave that one and save that for a different layout. I've got a couple of tags cut from the tag paper, 
um, that I'm going to layer on top of each other and offset slightly and then pop behind my photos. Um, and I'm going to tie that through with some ribbon as well. Um, I'm now just trying to see um, if there's any little squares that I can use um, from the Howdy collection. The two, the 4x4 four four and the 2x2 two two elements paper. Um, I really love these papers. They just give you so many extra embellishments to use. Um, so I've just cut those apart. Um, I've got four squares and I love the things they have on them. You've got a saddle, you've got a neckerchief, you have... Um, uh, rootin', rootin' and tootin'ist, I can't say it, <laughs> um, and uh, a little horseshoe. So I thought that they would be nice to incorporate. Um, I love the lime green colour, it's awesome, but there was no lime green in the star print paper, so it was a bit risky to bring that in, um, but uh, I decided to go for it. I, I like it. I like the bold, solid colours there, it really kind of lifts it up. Um, so you can see there by um, putting in those squares, I've had to lose a photo, but like I said, it's okay because my photos really are all the same thing. So it's not like I've lost a memory by swapping out for that photo for the squares. It just means I've got more fun embellishments in um, whilst uh, still not losing the, um, not losing any aspect of the photos really. Um, so again, I'm going to, no, I'm still trying to get that photo in. <laughs> it doesn't work though. Um, so I thought if I brought the photo in on the left and then move the tags, that would balance it out. But no, it, it still didn't look right. I'm, and I go back to my original idea. There we go. Um, so the tags go back over there. That's it. There we go. Um, so um, I'm going to distress the edges of those little squares and to get those stuck in place. I've got some layered on top of other squares to give more colours. Um, and um, I've got my word howdy as my title under my photos. I've got my tags behind my photos. Um, and uh, that's all looking pretty good. I'm happy with the kind of clustering going on along the torn edge of the stars paper, stars and the red. Um, I'm absolutely in love with these little critters um, on the collect in this collection. Um, so you've got the fox, you've got the raccoon, uh, the little kind of chipmunk thing. Um, my boy, uh, my, my two year old who's in the photos loves foxes. He has a fox um, cuddly toy and he goes to bed with him every night uh, amongst others. Um, but he really loves foxes. So um, having the fox dressed up as a cowboy on the layout was just perfect for us. So that, that worked really well. Um, so I, I love him. He's cute. Um, so I've got him um, standing down at the bottom. I do actually move him um, in the end because as I was making this layout, I was thinking, you know, this is basically the same layout I made before. <laughs> so I made this, uh, I made a previous layout with um, the Howdy collection and I ended up in the similar um a similar idea really with a pattern paper area at the top and then a cascading um, uh, cluster coming down from the right hand side towards the bottom. So I thought, oh, that's, you know, I've accidentally managed to do almost exactly the same thing on this layout too by putting the fox down there. So I ended up moving him um, so that my layouts look a little different. Um, I suppose once you have a design that um, you like and works well for you, you can come back to it over and over again but this was a little too close uh, because I literally like made the same layout the other day and uh, and it's the same collection too so I wanted him, them to look a bit different um, so and it was it was pure accident really because I hadn't really planned out where this layout or where I was going with this layout um, and uh, yeah it just it just worked out that way um, he's tall that fox so he he fitted well um, down there and I love that I've got a little sticker there that says uh Yeehaw, <laughs> uh, like a speech bubble coming out from the fox. So that's cool. Um, anyway, so I'm going to move him um, and have him as part of the cluster at the top by the title. Um, and uh, that way I'm going to keep the bottom area clear a bit um, so that it does look a little different to the previous layout that I made using this same collection. Um, okay, so I'm just now got most of my layout in position and I just want to um, make sure that I get lots of embellishments in now. So this is the kind of the fun part. All the, all the big main elements are stuck. Um, so now I just get to play with the um, embellishments. So the stickers, the ephemera, the chipboard, the puffy stickers, all of those things. I love all those things. Um, and the decorative brads too. Um, so um, 
that is all going on to the layout now. I love the little sheriff sticker, just getting him stuck in place. Um, and uh, I've got some other stars, sheriff stars, um, that I've pulled off the sticker sheets and they are... Um, over on the right hand side at the moment just going to move them and um, you can see I've now just moved my fox there we go I'm feeling much happier that he's over there now rather than at the bottom um, and uh, I'm just adding some little label stickers from the um, sticker sheet and that little chipmunk critter over on the right hand side I love the critters they're just awesome um, so I think I get another one in at some point as well um, still going with my labels um, just carrying on with the embellishments. Um, I just, I love to, I love to use embellishments. I love to pack it on uh, to a layout. Um, you know, there's more is more <laughs> in my, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to keep adding things um, until I'm happy, until I feel like it's done. Um, but at the moment it still doesn't feel done. So I'm going to go through the ephemera pack piece by piece and pull out any bits that I think um, might work um, with the layout or that I can fit in and that would work. So I thought I might, might extend the area where the fox is um, down towards the left, sorry, to the left side of the fox a bit more um, so that um, I've added in some cactuses. Is that cacti? I think is the correct meaning, uh, uh, pronunciation. Um, and, uh, and then over by my photos, I thought I would close the gap. Um, so I've got the, the, the colourful squares either side and then I've got the gap in the middle where the photos are. Now, obviously, I could leave that because they are photos. Um, but I've got the little yee alpha alphabet, no, little yee um speech bubble um, coming in towards the photos. And then I've got the wanted sign on the other side coming in towards the photos. So then there was a small gap in between those two items that I thought I could fill up with something. So I had like a whole row of um, embellishments going all the way along the torn edge. Um, so I added the saloon bar, um, ephemera and a horseshoe. Um, and um, I'm just, so that kind of closes that gap. Um, and I'm just going to um, make sure everything is stuck down. Um, down by the fox, I've got the cactus and a couple of sticks of dynamite and a star, um, sheriff badge star sticker as well. Um, so I'm just um, still making sure that everything is uh, stuck nicely. Oh, by the way, I've added the um, the ribbon through the tag at the top of the page as well. I used a thick, not that thick, but, you know, wide-ish orange ribbon. And then I tied that around with um, blue baker's twine. Um, I like the way that looks. Um, rather than trying to tie large or thick ribbon into a bow um, that would then possibly be overpowering, um, I like to um, connect it by uh, tying a smaller piece of string or twine um, around it. So that's what I did there. Um, just adding in some puffy stickers now. I love puffy stickers because they're tiny um, and they give you, you can fill in all the gaps, little, you know, the little bits and pieces with those. Um, so, yep, just adding those in and coming in now with some of the decorative brads as well. I love the phrases and things that they have on these. They all go so well. <laughs> um, so just adding a few of those in. I've got different sizes. I've got some big ones, some medium-sized ones, and some little ones. Um, and they kind of work like enamel dots. I don't have the enamel dots for this collection. I don't even know if there are any. Um, but uh, so it was nice to use the enamel dots in that way. Sorry, the um, decorative brads in that way. Um, and uh, yeah, just carrying on adding some last uh, few little bits and pieces now. Um, I just thought I would add some flowers, um, but then I was like, no, flowers aren't really going to work on this layout. I don't need them. Um, and uh, final, some final puffy stickers. I found another little critter, tiny one, a uh, raccoon, um, and uh, I've just popped him onto the photo as well. And that's pretty much me done now. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. I want to add some splashes of white paint um, across this layout. It's very, it's quite a dark layout, so um, very colourful, busy layout. So I thought having the white splatters would would look really nice. So I've just done that, um, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's me done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this layout. I loved making it. I like how it turned out. It's really super cute. It's very busy. It's got a lot on it, um, but uh, yeah, I love it. So um, yeah, check out this collection. It's so so cute. I think it's been delayed making it to stores but it will be there soon so hang on for it it's, it's very cute um thank you so much for joining me today that was nikki Rowland for simple stories <laughs>